Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And the other day, I showed you this cool lesson that you can see in the background where we created this awesome turtle. One of my students said, Hey, what happens if we make it into a keychain? And when we went to 3D print it, so when we printed out the design we created the other day, the results were kind of strange. I found a way to fix it. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to get into SketchUp for Schools or My.SketchUp to create new, and we want simple template millimeters. We are not using the gentleman or the lady in the middle, so simply click them and hit delete. Switch to your circle tool. Remember, it is click and release. Click the origin, touch the green line, and then for an adorable little keychain, we are going to use the number 20 for the radius. It goes super tiny, so make sure you click the Orbit tool and switch to Zoom to Extents. That way it gets to the item. We are in Orbit mode. The shortcut for that is O. And you can see that there are the little endpoints around the corner. We're going to hit the Circle tool again, and we're going to go to that green endpoint and just move the mouse over to the next endpoint. Not the midpoint, the endpoint, and click. From the red axis, do the same thing one end point out from that green axis again one end point out and then do the last foot the same way so now you've got four feet quickly built on your little turtle I'm gonna orbit so I can see it from the top and I'm gonna build my last circle I'm gonna use the letter C to switch to circle mode and boom I want to connect to the not first but second end point for my turtles head Go back to your eraser, and we're going to get rid of those inside lines. Click, click, click. Switch to the offset tool and click that belly. I want you to stretch it a little, type the number 5, and press Enter. Let's return to the eraser tool. You can click it or use the shortcut E, and then just erase those lines, and then also erase the middle line, and then if you zoom in, Erase these two tiny lines as well. I'm going to scroll back out and switch to the amazing push-pull tool. You could also use the letter P. Oops, I missed a line. E for erase, boom, fixed. P for push-pull. I want you to lift this up, see how it's adjustable. Type the number 5 and press Enter, and it will be 5 millimeters on that side. We're going to take this belly, lift it up, a little bit but then type the number two and press enter so that it's raised up two millimeters as well let's take the head and lift it up I'm gonna lift it up to the exact same height by touching one of the end points elsewhere in my project now I'm gonna push it down one millimeter just to give it an interesting texture if we orbit real quick you can see that we have now got a 3d little keychain shape Remember, we want to click on these gray faces and reverse them so that they have the white face. I'm going to do it on this edge as well. And I'm going to do it on this edge as well. Since we're trying to make a keychain, let's return to that circle tool. Click near the middle of our foot and just draw out a nice little 3 millimeter circle. Notice I typed the 3. I'm going to hit P to do push-pull. And then when I push-pull, I'm going to make that arrow touch an end point, And it cuts out the hole perfect for our little keychain time to have a little fun and give them a face starting with some eyeballs remember it is the circle tool draw an eye you could type a number I'm gonna do two and then I'm gonna click on the edge I'm gonna switch to the move tool and then one of my favorite things about move is if I hover on the center and tap control it makes a copy push those where I want push pull and I'm gonna push mine out one millimeter and I'm gonna make the second one match the first by taking the arrow and touching that spot I am gonna give him a mouth and I'm gonna do the mouth with the cool two-point art tool I'm gonna to click once I'm gonna click twice and I'm gonna just draw the bottom of his little smiley face I'm gonna to go to the line tool and I'm gonna connect it across and I'm gonna do that arc again to make his smile look even cooler. I'm gonna pick a spot a little bit in and a little bit in, and I'm gonna just bring it down and then erase that centerpiece. And now I can push in or I can pull out the mouth to the height that I want. I'm gonna go right there so those pieces all match. 
I'm also going to go to this arc tool and I'm going to add my cute little toes. If you did the first lesson, remember we just clicked over a couple, pulled it out, made the toe like we wanted. As long as it said on face, we knew we were good. We did that a couple times. They don't have to be the same. You can just have fun with this. And then we went back to that push pull tool, which I'm gonna use a letter P and I'm gonna raise them up one millimeter. And once I've done one correctly, I can just match the others by clicking it. And then do the same thing on the other side. It's all right if your toenails look different. This is just a fun little keychain, anyhow. And I'm going to go long distance to match them. Notice I move that arrow over, touch a corner, and boom, they are all the same height. If we look at it from the orbit tool, you can see everything is just dandy. So now let's fix it for 3D printing. Real quickly, we can't have this hole, and we fix it with the line tool. If you just connect across, it will fill it in. If you just connect across, it will fill it in. Now we're going to erase all the lines that we don't need. So it has got a nice solid background. Look at the front and make sure we didn't get rid of anything. And then the next neat trick we're going to do is right click and hide this side because look, inside here, there were some edges that we don't need. So we're simply going to go back to Erase and get rid of those vertical lines because they are not part of our project. That one was an oops, so I'm going to undo it. I'm going to orbit and get a little different angle so I can see what I'm clicking better. Once again, let's do Erase, and I want to get rid of that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Always make sure you orbit and look at it from a different angle so you can see the ones you missed. And at this point, friends, you have got a shape that is 3D printable. If we click on the views, if we click on the eyeballs, you can unhide all and you get your whole shape back. I'm going to do orbit so I can see it from the front. There is my awesome little turtle keychain. Let's save it. I'm going to name it Turtle Keychain. It asks where to save it. Remember, if you're using Google SketchUp, you only click once and hit select. If you double click, then it doesn't let you. Once you've got it saved and built, it's time to send it to where we 3D print it. We need to do export and we need to do STL. If you're in my class, remember we go to the quick access, choose STL and make sure your initials are after it. And when you're done, you can hit save and let me know that you're ready to print. Alrighty friends, so hopefully you had a ton of fun while you're building this. You may notice that we didn't paint it or color it, which is a ton of fun and you can do, but when you 3D print it, whatever color's in the printer is what you get anyway. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.